Hey everybody, I wanted to show you what we're using for Bible for our minimalist homeschool. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview and um, show you what we're using. So here in the center, um, this is from the Child Training Bible, and I will link everything uh, in the description box below. So this is the Child Training Bible, and I just want to give you, if you haven't heard of it, this is what it is. So you get these cards, and then you mark off the Bible verses that go with the um, the topic that you're needing to discuss with your children, I guess. So um, uh, we've looked at different Bible curriculums and and have used some different ones in the past, but honestly, there's nothing better than going straight to the Bible for teaching, honestly. So I got this Bible for Christmas a couple of years ago. Um, it's a King James, very large, like jumbo text Bible. And um, I started, let's see if I can show you this one handed, tabbing. So the pink one um, is fighting and the light blue one is fear. And so I went ahead and what it does is on these cards, it'll show you all the Bible verses for that topic. So you know which ones to highlight. And to highlight them, I use these um, Bible high glider. I love these, they're really smooth, kind of like a waxy, I don't know, I love them. And uh, we don't have all the colors that the tabs are. We don't have a red, a red and a dark blue for the highlighters, so I just used our um, color pencils. What are these? The Lyra color pencils that we already had. So basically you go through and you tab all these off. So this is for the top, the tabs that go at the top of the Bible. You're supposed to use like a 6 by 9 Bible, but I just used what we had. Um, and then these ones go around the bottom. Those topics. Okay, let me get a close-up of these topics. That's the top tab. Okay, and then the side tab. Okay, and then after you've gotten them all, I'll show you how I I'm just flip to one, if I can, one-handed. So here's one for fear and Deuteronomy. And so you just put the tab so that it lines up with the main card. The main card is, I stick in there? Ah, oh, it's in here. So I'll probably just tape this in here. And so, and then you just line it up and that's how you know which tab to you. So I'll probably put it about there so that it lines up. So if you have like a, a six by nine Bible, it would fit perfectly on the inside cover. Um, and some people still tape it in so that it doesn't fall or get lost because things in our house get lost a lot. The tabs that I'm using, the sticky tabs I'm using are these, um, and I'll link these too. It comes in a little thing like this, and I love them. They're just cute. And they're um, it's translucent, the word I'm looking for, so that, I don't know if you saw, but you can still see through the, um, the you can still see the text through. I'm trying to get to like a pink one. one-handed. That's easy. Okay. So you can still see the text through the sticky tabs, which is good. So you can still read the Bible. All right. Um, so we used to do a lot of Bible art journaling, which you'll see on my, um, on my blog. Um, if you haven't seen it, then I'll link that too. But, um, so we, we have, the kids have other Bibles and I have a little Bible that I've had since I was a teenager or well, I guess I was a young adult, um, that we paint in with watercolors and we take notes and stuff in. Um, we don't do that as much anymore. Uh, we do like doing that, but we haven't, uh, we just haven't done it in a while, but I got this for my eldest. Um, I think I posted on Instagram mine. It's just a white, um, my version of this. I was trying to see if I could. I'll probably grab it in just a second. This one, so this is for my eldest daughter. Um, and I'll probably get one for my younger daughter too. But um, this is a great way for my daughter to get into scripture writing. And that's what we've kind of transitioned to instead of Bible art journaling. Now we do more scripture writing. It's um, a great way to put the, the scripture in your heart, I think. So these are journables. If you haven't heard of these, these are awesome. So um, what these are, I'm just going to you just as what it is 
Um, so on one side of the page, the right side, it'll have all the verses, the chapter and the verses marked off, so you write them, you, you copy the scripture. And then on this side, sometimes they have like these little, it says define reproof. So you can do that, or you can write prayers or thoughts that you have on um, whatever. So Lorelai started this, so here's her copied verses here. And so it's kind of like handwriting and, and grammar all in one. And then on the other side, she wrote prayers or uh, thoughts on the scripture that she's copying over. Another thing that we're sort of using for Bible, this is actually more history, but these are, it's called History Lives Chronicles of the Church box set. So um, we had originally planned on using these for history, and then we have switched over to mainly um, uh, uh, The Good and the Beautiful, which... Um, if you've seen that video, that's what we're using mainly. And we're also just reading some books. These are some books that we're reading, but these are like church his history books. And they're, they're told in a story manner. So they're not, they're not boring and dry. So I'll try to just show you. Let me see. Maybe I should have pulled one of these out before hitting record. <sighs> okay. So I'll just show you a little bit of what's... So this would be... And they go through time history... Uh, time uh, the timeline so basically you can start um, this would be like if you're studying ancient history and then there's five books instead of four but you can figure it out some of them are so the Jumar Star for a mere man so and they go in um, time order so that's 362 AD um, so they're great stories there's um, if there's any illustrations in any of them yeah so we like these these are good and sometimes so they some of them are stories and then in here inserted they'll have like how the Bible was spread or whatever. So just little short history things that were, they're really short. And then the other ones are just um, stories of all the different um, martyrs or um, saints or just, it's cool. So that's basically what we're using. I am, let me see if I can reach my, Ugh. okay. This is what I was using. If you've seen um, on Instagram, this is what I used for my scripture writing. So I just got this from Michael's for like 40% off. It's a um, canvas, large size. Like it's like, I don't know what measurement it is, guys. This is the size it is. Okay, here's my hand. It's a normal size hand. It's kind of manhandish or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, so I just watercolor painted on the cover. And then um, I watercolor at... Um, some pages and then so on this side I write down scripture and so I was writing I was going by a theme of uh, anxiety and worry because that's my biggest I would say that's probably my largest struggle um, I struggle with worrying and stuff which is exactly where I got the sparrows and grace upon grace the sparrows are for that Bible verse in Matthew 8 that talks about that we are more valuable than the sparrows of the sky so and then on the other side I'm not really going to show you that this is my prayers my thoughts on the scripture and then prayers that are written here and so I'll just give you a little. So now what I've actually transitioned to is thoughts and prayers over here. So over here, what I've really started transitioning to, I've felt the need or um, God speaking me to write Isaiah. So starting at the very beginning, all 66 books, I'm going to write it. Um, and I use um, those permanent ink pens, micron pens, that's what, that's what they're called, micron pens to write, and then I'll just uh, watercolor paint over it. So over here, I watercolor painted first, and then I wrote on top of it, and then over here, I'm going to write and then paint on top of it. Yeah, because it's the permanent ink, so it'll, it doesn't bleed. So that's what we're doing for Bible. Pretty simple and easy. So basically, basically, a plain notebook, a Bible. <laughs> And then if you want, you can use these journables, which are not pricey, and they're awesome. And they have a whole bunch. They have like a whole ton of different um, books of the Bible that you can uh, write um, for writing the scriptures. So that's basically it. <laughs>